Hi, my friends. We go now to another level. Why? Because we want to make programs for controlling or managing the parts. As you can see, this is the part number 35 presented by me in the tutorial number 74. We can create a so-called form which offer us the possibility to control dimensions of a part and uh, a lot of other things, be sure. Here there is uh, the starting situation from the part with the dimensions uh, in the mentioned tutorial. And here we changed this length left and this length right. This is a thread, we call it threaded feature, this dimension. And the other is flanged feature because here is a flange. The height is not changed. But the other from 55 to 85 is the left length and from 55 to 95 is the right length. Let's see live this uh, modification. This is the part and this is its drawing. We activate a special panel iLogic and click on this form one and we have now that form at our disposition as you can see there are three sliders here height threaded feature flanged feature if we move this uh, cursor to the next position you see this is longer than before it is 70 instead of 55. The other one changes accordingly by using the other slider. Yes? The important thing is that uh, the drawing is uh, adjusting accordingly including the dimensions. Look here. This is the drawing after using sliders. Yes? Let's uh, change something that we have to be here. Let's uh, change the height now. Yes? To the middle position and you see this is not 115 is 130 as here is mentioned more height next level is this one you see 145 we need to modify a little the positioning and the drawing because uh, I suppose that this is higher but look here, you have a new part, yes? You place dimensions uh, correctly and you can print the new drawing, of course. We end this by saving the new drawing. Okay. closing the drawing and saving also the part of course the new part yes this is another part not the first one okay well if you want 
to learn such things special for meticulous people, you can move on to the rest of this tutorial. If not, forget it, close it, and bye-bye from now. This is the part valve body after exactly as uh, it was finished in my tutorial number uh, 74. The part in the collection is number 35. You can look there to see how was this modeling made. Um, the first thing is to eliminate uh, special overrides of the faces by using this tool, clear, selecting all, and OK. And we still select the steel cast as uh, the general appearance. Next we have to uh, change some names here. D5 is the height. I write here height. But how do I know which is uh, D0, D7, D what? Well, let me finish here. You have to uh, look at uh, the features. The first feature is uh, this, the bottom flange. The next one is uh, this and you see here, double click, the height. Yes? If you uh, apply expression, you see that this is with the name height placed by me just now. So this is how to um, uh, find dimensions to change their names as you want. Good. Height is uh, 115. Next is uh, D15 which has the new name threaded feature you remember threaded feature we create another one no we select this and we change it in total width yes its name is total width. You'll see now why. Because I add here another numeric parameter with the name flanged feature, flanged feature with the value 55. And the total width is uh, now threaded feature plus flanged feature. Both being names known by inventor. Yes? Good. Now we have everything to start. Height, threaded feature and flanged feature. These are the three parameters needed for sliders. Let's create sliders. We use in the Manage tab the iLogic browser. Yes, this is the panel of uh, to be placed here. iLogic browser this. Yes? This is the place where 
is the name of the part and where we have possibilities to like a program the language is uh, visual basic a simple programming language you can learn uh, very easy there are a lot of books about visual basic we add a form here you see i go to forms right click add form and we receive these two windows let me call them windows this is a dialog box and this is the future creation of us we select some parameters to be included in the form which are they they are height i i keep pressed the control this three not total width and i drag them here is this difficult i i th think that this is not difficult to drag some names from here to here you'll see everything is easy and simple if you want to learn my friend we select the first parameter we change text box from the edit control type from text box to slider if you look here you have text boxes yes you can change 115 to any other value and the height will be changed as well as uh, the other two okay we change this for to be a slider and we have to place the values 115 is the starting value 145 is the last value and the step is 15 to have 115 130 and 145 yes as uh, steps the next one is also a slider not a text box where you can write any value you want starting from 55 ending to 85 with a step of 15 the last is also slider now we know the procedure everything is okay also 55 but the maximum value is 95 and the step is 20 okay click here and you have uh, uh, this uh, nice dialog box wherever you call with the name form one you can change this name and with uh, cursors let's move the cursor to the mid position you see this is higher the last position which is the highest the left this one is uh, longer and this is the longest this has also two positions you see this is the situation let's move them back yes and let's create now a drawing stop for the moment by using our very known template which uh, I presented to you in the tutorial number 30 you can look at that tutorial to see what is this about and we place base which is uh, somewhere here and the projection to the left okay let's place some dimensions as you saw but first 
we add the axis we cannot place dimensions we don't want to we can of course but first you create axis my friends this is drawing axis we change them a little by making the right thing here as you can see other situation is with this and let me place also axis for the four circles create we extend this to be a full circle axis and that's all dimensions from this line yes to this end 115 the height nominal height how can I call it this is uh, 55 but I place it at the bottom and also 55 as you know home good this is the smallest part in the family now I want to save this and change the position of cursor to here to here and to end what you see at the drawing <laughs> you see the changed drawing let's create we have to go back we cannot uh, move the uh, cursors now yes this is not 100 and 15 not 130 but 145 let's place this in a new position home and this is the first part of our discussion if you like this you can watch the following tutorial to move forward it is important to do what was presented in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.